Hey Eldon, Nick here. I'm just going to show you a quick demo um, about how the PDF and interactive PDFs are looking currently. So right now I'm on our staging environment, so you won't actually be able to see this in your own account just yet, but uh, it's looking really, really good and we'll have it out uh, real, real soon. So what I've done is I've just uploaded a PDF, uh, some sample pages of one of our client, and I've converted them. So I'm going to go straight into the editor and show you what it looks like. So this is DPI Magazine, and this is coming straight from a PDF. If you look under Pages, you'll see it has all the thumbnails, all the pages uh, taken from the PDF sample, and they are listed in here. So what we can do is we can jump here to page 2, and it's a PDF. It doesn't have the exact size of, of the iPad dimensions, but that's something we can fix later. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, so currently we have what's called a PDF placeholder. Now this is a widget, widget, widget you can out, out and then you can place it anywhere you want on uh, on the canvas. So I'm just going to drop it here and I'm going to go ahead and drag it and make it a little bit bitter, uh, bigger and cover this type of text here. Uh, this is a special widget that we have during development. Uh, it is going to be part of all these widgets. So instead of dragging it out one at a time, you'll be able to simply just drag the YouTube and you'll see the same kind of behavior as before and then you can just drag the YouTube in place instead of actually placing it inside of, um, of the placeholder and once I've dragged the YouTube I can still go ahead and resize it if I want to make it smaller and of course I can also make it bigger and just kind of make it fit nicely uh, drag out a little bit here I think just make it a little bit bigger so that we get the player and and everything as well here there we go so obviously it will be a little bit of of uh, moving widgets around just to make sure that it has the perfect placement so this now is actually a YouTube on top of the PDF and you'll be able to play it in the preview if I just hit play see it will play and it will scale with the size of the page as well so uh, if you go iPad portrait or iPad landscape, it will scale and, and fit the same areas of the, of the PDF. So this is super cool. And obviously you can also uh, drag in other widgets, basically any other widget that you want. And I'm just going to show you with the SoundCloud. This is one of my favorite widgets. I'm just going to drag it in there and I'm going to resize this again so that it looks a little bit better. And here you can see the SoundCloud widget now sits nicely on top of the PDF page as well and that will of course also play the music. So there you have it, that's the, the, the development so far. It's looking really really good, the guys are doing an awesome job and soon you know it will just be a matter of picking your widget, dragging it in, resizing it and uh, placing it where you want on the page and as you already know we have a bunch of different interactive widgets. We are also working on the, the action widget or the button widget. So you can drag in a button uh, and then you can give it an action like on click and then it can open a modal with either some more information or a full page image or video. So instead of dragging a video in you can actually just have a nice button that fits a little bit better into the overall design maybe. You tap the button and opens the video in a modal view. Um, with that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and save this page up and uh, stop this video for now because that kind of demos where we are with the interactive PDFs. I hope you like it. Look forward to your feedback and speaking with you really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Hey, Elden Nick again. So I just wanted to show you one last thing that I forgot in the in the previous take. So here I am on a website. Um, you probably know about Prezi presentations. They're pretty cool for embedding onto uh, web pages. So I thought I wanted to show you a um, iframe example because I know you guys use iframes a lot. So I'm just going to copy this iframe from Prezi. And again, I'm on a different page now. I'm going to drag in the placeholder. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter too much because the, the, the size is set by the iframe. But basically, uh, HTML5 is our iframe widget. 
and once selected I can go into the the text or the code I'll paste in the Prezi and here we're gonna have an update button as soon as I hit it you can see it's actually gonna go ahead and load in the Prezi presentation right there on the screen and I can see I need to drag this one a little bit further down just to get the uh, navigation that was actually a pretty good placement there so even from the editor from within the editor I'm just going to go in and, and drag a, a heading on top here, make this a little bit bigger, something like that. I know it doesn't look super great, but it will work. So here we go, start the Prezi presentation. And as soon as that is loaded up, you'll see that this actually works right inside the, the browser window here, or inside the editor window. And this will also work on devices which is really, really cool. And, and something that actually surprised me a little bit is that YouTube's inside the Prezi, inside the editor will actually also play. So that's pretty amazing. And uh, you can even use your arrow keys. Sorry, I'm doing a right arrow key right now. I'm not using the mouse or anything. And of course uh, that won't work on devices, but you, it will in the, in the web view and on devices you'll just tap here uh, left and right. So that was just one last thing I wanted to show you. It's just an iframe widget, paste the code in here and done. Uh, later on, what we want to do as well is we want to allow people to upload uh, custom CSS, uh, custom JavaScript. So, you know, make it a lot more dynamic, but that is again, a little bit down the road. And for now, the iframe does a really good job as you already know. So with that, thanks again and speak to you very, very soon. Hi again, Eldon. So in this last shot, I'm going to show you what the uh, PDF that we just edited could look like in the web view browser. So again, this is our development. As you can see, this is highly customized for one of our clients, High Voltage Magazine. Obviously, this will be customizable for you as well. So this is the shell with the different issues. And I'll just click this one again. Here's the preview screen. I think you've seen this already. We'll go in and we'll read the uh, issue that we were just editing before. So as you can see, we've got a full spread view, two pages. Looks really, really good. Uh, navigation, just by clicking here. And here's the page that we edited earlier in the editor. And as you can see, YouTube Perfect plays. Face. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> and of course, also SoundCloud. And if we move on, again, here is the Prezi presentation that we made also. And uh, you can see just as when it's done loading up, it will actually play right here in the web view as well. There we go. It's just a quick demo to show you that it actually does work. And we'll continue to some more pages because I know we have a full spread right here. And you can see, beautiful, if I must say so myself. Really good job. Tobias has pulled through here and given us a really nice double page view here. So that was just real quick to show you what it looks like or what it will look like once the uh, web view is live, which is very, very, very soon. Um, yeah, can't wait to hear what you think and uh, look forward to hearing from you again. Oh yeah, and here we have the uh, index of all the thumbnails of all the pages for a quick, easy navigation. So if I wanna jump to the last page, there it is. All right, thanks again, Eldon. Look forward to talking to you soon, bye-bye.